How could you see your people hurt and not care? You got the power to help, but when they need you, not there. Do you love us or not? Cause it's not clear. Your response to this question is my opinion's not fair. But Jesus said you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself to the point that with the poor you will share your wealth. You could try, but you really can't deny though the Messiah himself lived with and served his disciples. That means that everything that And welcome to the law and the testimony. I am your host, brother Nashon. Today we're going to be dealing with the scriptures as always, and we're going to look into some topics that are need to be put out there. One topic today we will be dealing with is Israel who are Gentiles and Gentiles who are Israel. Expounding on this will be Brother Zadok, and we are the brothers from the Congregation of Israel, the Knesset of Jesus. And as always, the information will be on the screen where you can contact us further. So without any delay, Brother Zadok, let's expound on this topic. Thank you, Brother Nashon. And I just like to give praise to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who has found us worthy, brother, to be sitting at the table with one another expounding on this scripture. And this is a yo, this is a real important topic, brother. And I don't know what people's, you know, who may see this, however you may see it, I don't know what your personal stance is on it, but um, you know, within our own city, we hear different teachings on this matter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, it's not no secret. You know, you got the World Wide Web out here and you got various schools from all over the country, even all over the world, that are arguing on this very matter. Christians versus Hebrew Israelites. Right. Then you got Hebrew Israelite camps that can't even agree right. on the thing. And my thing is, I'm hearing both sides, you know, and I'm hearing where I agree and points with both sides, but it's something that's missing where they're refusing to see one another mm -hmm. on the issue because it's like we want to prove our point and prove you wrong instead of let's really find what the scripture is saying. So we, I, I, I'm hoping that the Lord can use us to edify, to edify in the spirit of mediation with the brethren because our mission is love. We don't get paid for this thing. We hope our reward that we seek is eternal life. That gift, and that reward from the Father. Through his holy son. We don't get paid no money for doing this. That's right. We do this of our own free will and we praise God for the understanding that he has allowed it. And we hope that what we share today will help some brethren who are arguing with one another and are misrepresenting the spirit of Christ that is supposed to be in them. Yeah, you do contend for the faith right. that's been delivered, but what I'm seeing is, is that the contention gets so out of control where I'll be getting the sense it's not dealing with the spirit no more. Right. Now it's getting into emotion. And browbeating one another. So let's go right into it. This topic of Gentile, brother, before we go into word, I want you, we got here with this uh this new Ungers Bible Dictionary. New Ungers Bible Dictionary. And I want to go to the definition of Gentile. And, and and I know you speak, uh you pretty fluent in speaking and reading and writing in Hebrew. Yes, sir. So if the you know, if the Ungers people is just out their mind, then you they, they you may be able to catch some of the explanations. Okay. Where they faulty on this Hebrew, but go ahead and um, expound on that for us. I, I got some portions underlined uh, for Gentile. Yeah, uh, it actually, I think it started on the, the page before the actual definition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. This right here is out of the Ungers, new the New Ungers Bible Dictionary by Merrill F. Unger, mm -hmm. and we're looking at the Gentile and the reads. The Hebrew goyim signifies nation. That's where the word Gentile comes from, going. The surrounding nations, foreigners, as opposed to Israel. So basically, this is just, it's not a word of any derogatory uh, intention from God. This is just a word, Goyim, mm -hmm. in the Hebrew language, which basically signifies those other than Israel. That's right. Those outside of Israel. So if you weren't an Israelite, according to flesh, the word to describe nations is just simply Goyim, and when it's translated in the tongue we speak now, Gentiles. Gentiles. That's, That's right. it. Go ahead, but go ahead and continue, brother. Relation to Israel. What rendered the Jew a distinct and honored class was simply their election by God to the place of his pe peculiar people. So that's what made Israel special. Not that they were better than any other people, but that they were chosen by God for his service, and they were chosen as his peculiar people. And you can read that in the law. That's what he called them. Go ahead. And that's why everybody else was just called nations, because they were his peculiar people. Right. Okay. Right. By which they became the recognized disp dis dispositories of his truth 
and the consecrated channels of his working among men. So among men, all the nations recognized the power of God that was with the nation of Israel. That's right. And they looked at them as having that great law and this whole setup from God. They defiled it, but the nations wouldn't deny right. the perfection of the law that God had given them and the power that they had when they were in, uh, when they were correct with the Lord. Exactly. Okay, go ahead. The distinction between Israel and other nations as was shown in the covenant with Abraham, was to be only for a time. And believing Gentiles in no age were excluded from sharing in the benefits conferred upon the Jews when they showed themselves willing to enter into the bond of the covenant. So now, what you think about that, brother? I mean, the, the, the Ungers uh, uh, researchers here are saying that they haven't found in any age where the Gentiles, meaning the nations, mm -hmm. were where they were excluded from sharing in the, the, the things that God had gave to Israel when those nations or individuals from those nations would come and bring themselves under the bond of the covenant that Israel was under. From, from the things you have read in scripture, do you think they're correct? And from, from my understanding, yes, they are correct. And this is what we're going to show to people. Okay, well, anything else there to read, brother? Anything else on the You have another paragraph here. Okay. Considering the wall of strict separation, which, as regards matters of religion, the Jews had erected between themselves and the Gentiles. So who erected that wall of separation between the Jew and the Gentile? It was the Jews. The Jews did it. You can actually go and read in, in, the, in the days of Ezra and Nehemiah when they came out of when they came out of Babylon and they, you know, they was getting back into that law and they seen that the that that them mingling with people who weren't dealing with God, uh -huh. that they feel that that was a snare and a trap to them. That's right. And they made a covenant and cut themselves off from the rest of the nations. But it's clear that the Jews had set up this wall of separation between them and the nations. Because you can't go read nowhere in the laws given unto Moses where God said, don't deal with the nations. Right. He told them to uh, get rid of them seven Canaanite nations that they could no longer stay in the land. Right. But as far as anybody else, as far as intermingling, business or anything, it's never any inclination that uh, they couldn't deal with uh, people of other nations, basically. Even so, join us in Stranger that moment how to keep the same law. I, I'm glad you said that. Anything else to finish? Yeah, I'm just finishing the last line. Okay. It would not readily occur to one that these later were also permitted to take part in the worship at Jerusalem. It wouldn't occur to one who? To one Jew. That's right. <laughs> it wouldn't occur to a Jew who was under that line, line of thinking, understanding how they had created this wall between them and the nations that later on God somehow would open up access to break down that wall that they put up. Right. They put up that wall. And we're going to actually, God willing, uh, because this is a two-part piece, because of our time restraints for television, this is a two-part piece. And I hope that the Lord allows us to get to that point to show that that wall has been broken down. That's right. Now let us go, brother, into the book of James. Because I want to go into the scriptures that are commonly used to try and prove. He, I see Hebrew Israelites using this on each other or... Christians showing what they showing and Hebrew Israelites showing this and hey, I don't disagree with anything that I find written in the letters of the Apostles or anywhere in the scripture So let's go ahead and, and go right to it. Let's go to James 1 chapter 1 brother James 1 chapter 1 You can read it when you got it Sorry, not verse 1. Yeah James a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting my brethren. That's it. That's it. So they read here in James' letter to the brethren scattered abroad. Now James, as far as I know, is one of the elders of Jerusalem. That's right. And he's writing to the brethren scattered abroad who are, he, he specifically is greeting the 12 tribes right. scattered abroad. So brothers will read this and say, see, the Gentiles, brother, are the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Well, I see that this particular letter is, a, is in the beginning of it is addressed and he's greeting in the beginning of this letter the 12 tribes scattered abroad but do that mean that everywhere we read Gentile in the New Testament is talking to, only to Jews who don't live in Jerusalem this is what's being taught out here brother mm -hmm. you know this that's right this is being taught out here all the Gentiles the, the strangers and the Gentiles in the New Testament be, they aren't a, a, a people of other nations they are nothing but the Jews who have who have who live among the other nations? I'm not gonna deny what's written here by James, but this is this same James who actually declared how to deal with the quote unquote Gentiles. 
Now let's see something here. Brother, go right quick into Acts chapter 15, please. Go into Acts 